Hello everyone and welcome to Hughes YouTube channel. Today our discussion will revolve around operator defined open and intelligent radio access networks, also known as Open RAN. Open RAN refers to industry wide interface standards that allow RAN equipment and software from different vendors to communicate. The primary goal for using Open RAN is to have an interoperability standard for RAN elements such as non-proprietary white box hardware and software from different vendors. Network operators that opt for RAN elements with standard interfaces can avoid being stuck with one vendor's proprietary hardware and software. According to Nokia, Open RAN has been touted as the next big thing in wireless after massive MIMO, beamforming, 5G new radio, dynamic spectrum sharing, and the use of AI and ML in RAN. The ORAN Alliance is a group of organizations facilitating specifications for radio access networks. The foundation of the Alliance was laid in the year 2018 with close to 30 operators and more than 200 vendor companies. The goals of the Global Alliance are to provide strategies to build the RAN solution enabling different commercial off-the-shelf parts from different vendors with enabling AI and ML for more efficient network management and orchestration. The ORAN Alliance is transforming the industry towards open, intelligent, virtualized and fully interoperable RAN. The ORAN Alliance membership is open to mobile networks, operators, vendors or research and academic institutions that want to contribute in a meaningful way to the ORAN Alliance's effort. According to a report by ABI Research, the capital expenditure on open RAN radio units is expected to reach $47.4 billion by the year 2026. ABI Research expects greenfield installations and private enterprise networks, as well as public consumer networks in rural and uncovered areas to drive open RAN deployments throughout the entire forecast period. Omdia, another research firm, reports that open RAN is likely to generate $3.2 billion in annual revenues by the year 2024, giving it about 10% of the total 4G and 5G market. In a 5G RAN architecture, the baseband unit is split into two functional units namely the distributed unit and the centralized unit. The distributed unit is responsible for real-time L1 and L2 scheduling functions, while the centralized unit is responsible for non-real-time higher L2 and L3 functions. The Open RAN concept utilizes vendor agnostic COTS-based servers for DU and CU software to radio unit. Let us understand the components of the Open RAN architecture. Service Management and Orchestration Framework or the SMO. The SMO includes integrating fabric and data services for the managed functions. It connects to and manages the RICs, the OCloud, the OCU and ODU. Non-real-time RIC RAN Intelligence Controller. This function supports intelligent RAN optimization in non-real time by providing policy-based guidance using data analytics and AI or ML training or inference. Near real-time RIC. This function enables near real-time control and optimization of the ORAN nodes and resources over the E2 interface with near real-time control loops. The near real-time RIC uses commands such as monitor, suspend or stop, override and or control primitives to control the behavior of the open RAN nodes. OCloud. The OCloud works like a cloud computing platform with physical infrastructure nodes using open RAN architecture. It creates and hosts various virtual network functions used by the RICs and other elements. The Open RAN Centralized Unit, or CU, runs the Radio Resource Control, the Packet Data Convergence Protocol, 
and service data adaptation protocol layers. The CU controls the operation of several DUs over the mid-hall interface. Open RAN distributed unit or the DU sits close to the radio unit and controls the radio link control, medium access control, and parts of the file layer. The CU controls its operation. Open RAN radio unit handles the digital front end and parts of the physical layer as well as the digital beam forming functionality. Open RAN brings in a lot of horizontal and vertical flexibility within the network, which is advantageous for ISPs and telecom vendors. Let's have a look at some of the benefits of Open RAN. Firstly, there would no longer be a dependency on closely coupled hardware and software. Simplified operation and maintenance of Open RAN as the hardware under use is standardized and the software can run on general purpose hardware. It also helps in reducing CapEx and OpEx requirements thanks to competition across vendors providing hardware and software. With the enablement of edge-centric architecture, 5G will move towards achieving low latency and provide better connectivity in high population and dense areas. With microservices based and loosely coupled architectures, deployment of new features can also be fast-tracked. OpenRAN provides an opportunity for early adoption and easy rollout of 5G services. Finally, OpenRAN will enable easy scalability thanks to the rapid advancements in computing. The main challenge in Open RAN standardization is that major RAN vendors are not open to adopting interfaces, leaving little to no room for competitors to break into the space. The multi-vendor approach proposed by Open RAN could potentially increase complexity and difficulties in maintaining system integration. Several organizations are working towards Open RAN standards and the adoption of one particular standard creates competition between organizations. Ownership of SI and binding modules from multiple vendors in one integrated system creates a tussle between parties on the ownership front. Open RAN is about openness and intelligence. It is about opening RAN from a closed vendor environment to a standardized multi-vendor AI-powered hierarchical control structure, giving third-party vendors access to what used to be closed RAN data. Open RAN is bringing in the flexibility for operators to choose different components of RAN from different vendors. Open RAN is revolutionizing and paving the way for transforming 5G deployment. While there will be no significant change with regards to core protocol or standard, Open RAN would help in the adoption of innovative use cases with the architecture and openness that it provides. This brings us to the end of the presentation. If you'd like to know more about our work on 5G, virtualization, and edge computing, please visit our website at hsc.com. Thank you.